First question today comes from Tyler Navarro who writes, Hey guys, love the show. Haven't missed a show since I started listening four months ago. Well, thank you very much, Tyler. Quick question. Mm -hmm. What happened to Martin Lawrence? Last movie I remember seeing him in was Big Mama Mama's House 2 and haven't seen him since. Think he will make a comeback? Thanks and keep up the great work. Thank you for the question, Tyler. Martin Lawrence. I think he had a little bit of a stint in TV there for a minute. Um, and in drugs as well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, that's what happened, isn't it? He kind of got derailed by an addiction. And I think, you know, I, I last I heard was TV also, that he was doing something with, like, Kelsey, Kelsey Grammer. Grammer. But I don't know if that ever happened. I don't know if it's supposed to come yeah. out. It's a Lionsgate thing. I don't know. So, I, I mean, I always thought he was a very funny guy. I yeah. thought he was super talented. If you look at his biography, I mean, this guy has been performing for, like, decades. He's super talented comedic actor. Knows his way around producing, knows his way around all kinds of different aspects of filmmaking. So I would, I would love to see him come back. We are going to get Bad Boys 3. Yeah, so apparently. Apparently. I feel like we are because they're just loving the sequels yeah. and the trilogy. Yeah, Ryan did so well. Exactly. So That's what Martin excited. Lawrence is doing right now. Every morning at 8 a.m. he delivers donuts to Michael Bay's house and asks, Hey, how's that, how's that Bad Boys 3 script coming along, yeah. Michael? Well, Michael Bay is not above a little of it. So I'm just going to throw that out there. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah, I also do think he brings something to the screen and I did love the Will Smith Lawrence partnership yeah. there I, I think we're kind of one of my favorite buddy cop situations mm -hmm. so I hope that happens and I do think you know we have we, Hollywood loves a comeback they mm. do um, look at Zac Efron's story right now yeah. I mean they truly do we want to give them the benefit of the doubt we want to give them our love and support also lots of criticism because that's the nature of the beast yeah. Yeah. but uh, I do think he has talent and I would like to see him kind of a resurgence of Lawrence yeah, yeah. he hasn't had a hit I think since Wild Hog in 2007. That was a hit? Well, <laughs> yeah, it was. It made a By lot of money. By financial standards, yes. Financial <laughs> standards. Yeah, if we're talking financial <laughs> standards, that was his last hit. Wow. But Big Mama's House didn't even make much money, Whew. so he needs one. Uh, Bruckheimer, I know, said he's really hopeful that uh, Bad Boys 3 makes it, but yeah. it's just really hard to lock Will Smith down. And now well, that he's not a part, well, it should be a little easier now. easier <laughs> now, right? Yeah. He said his schedule is full, so yeah. who knows. Yeah, we shall see. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.